In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw multiple Y diagrams. For example, uh, if you have two data and for instance, if you want to draw uh, two quantities with respect to one, so sometimes it is quite hard to uh, understand and to draw with one Y axis with one X axis. So for instance, if you want to keep x axis 1 and keep 2 y axis are more than 2 y axis for example uh, if two variables are varying with respect to one so how to do that so for example here is the x axis is here so this is from 2009 to 2016 and if i take the example of through sky solar cell so through sky absolute cell give efficiency 3.8 to 2009 and it increase significantly to 21.1 so this is one one is the efficiency of this through sky solar solar cell in 2009 to 2017 and the next column i want to know that how many articles published in that particular year so for example in 2009 uh, in Toros Sky Solar Cell, 400 articles has been published. And similarly, when we go down, so the number of publication increased. So how th the years are same here, the x axis are same, but two different parameters on the y axis. One is efficiency and one is the publications. So if I want to show this in one graph, so how I will do this, let's see how. Select this, go to plot, come to multiple cups under multiple cups select double y you see very nicely so this is tremendously it's 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 giving efficiency on the left hand side and it's giving number of publication on the right hand sides it's very very nice and this is the year and if you wish to little bit change this the for instance if i want to change this symbol size to 18 and for example if I want to change this to also 18 and just change the symbol a little bit so let's select this one and apply you see now the difference is clear let's increase the thickness of the edge yeah it's, it's very nice now and you can see the, the clear difference and uh, in some cases for example now in in colorful case this shows the blue is for publications because it's blue vertical line is blue and the black is for uh, efficiency but if if somebody want uh, further explanation so you can do it like this this is publication so you can draw your arrow like this so for instance if you want to make it blue so you can make it blue increase is something etc so this is for this and uh, similarly this black is for black just if you want uh, if you want a straight arrow so you just need to uh, select click shift and then draw so you see that's all about how to draw uh, multiple y and one thing more if for example and uh, if you want more than mm, two y axis so this is another data so just for example if you have four so select and go to multiple curves and click four you see now it give me four uh, 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 the four y axis very nicely and and you know uh, these now you you can see that uh, if you increase the size so you will see so this is for this uh, color and this is green is for uh, 
this bar is for green this one is for this and this blue is the left hand side and the pink is the far most right hand side you see and the ear is same so you can compare uh, uh, this data and you can show someone that how the, the things are changing uh, with the same x axis and for instance if you have more than four so you can uh, do it by going to multiple curves and multiple y axis from here so i hope you learn how to draw uh, multiple y curves uh, 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 with respect to a, a single x axis thanks for watching and if you enjoy the video please like the video and subscribe to mansur academy thank you